that's enough traction control. I did, bro. Does that have launch control? What's up guys welcome back to the channel i just bought the copart 135 and i was gonna ship it out here copart wants 2700 dollars to get it so that's not happening Lowerhead just showed up brought the dirty max and we're going to california so we're gonna go get the trailer from my house right now the license plate fell off when i was towing to a drift event last year so we're gonna go fake plate it up because it's american we don't give up so let's do it it is far it's a 16 and a half hour drive it's pretty much it's in antelope california which is by sacramento so uh yeah let's get to it we made it out to pecos to grab the trailer we're getting it all hooked up right now got the right size ball so we're good to go and now this is where the license plate was oh I got my other trailer plate on it. All right, I guess we're all set. That's the plate off that trailer. But a trailer's a trailer, right? Got a couple spares which don't fit so we can pull the tires off and put them on there. And then we got jumper cables and my other set of tow lights that I broke. But if we break this set, then hopefully we can make one good working set out of both. So I think we're ready to go. What do you think? Let's get it. Quick little pit stop at Walmart because, uh, you know, snacks are good on road trips. So we're all stocked up. Sacramento, here we come. Good, 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 good. We are currently somewhere in Arizona. Truck's doing great. The bitch ass lights, uh, the magnets suck on them and they keep flying off and blasting all over. And we keep having to pull over and put them back. So now we got them ratchet strapped down hard as fuck. So I don't think they're going anywhere anymore. We're about 200 miles from California. So uh, I think we're still 12 hours from where we're going. So we're driving all night, trying to get there at eight in the morning. Get, give me another double double, just the burger. And then can I get another double double, just the burger? Then get a, get a some fries, animal style. Okay. And then can I get some fries, animal style? Okay. <laughs> and that'll be it. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, we got so much food. I have a question. Why do we call you guys in and out burger? Why do we call ourselves in and out burger? Yeah. Because when he made it, he wanted it to be where you guys can just come in and out and it's made fresh. Oh, all right. I was just asking because there's this song by SPM and he's all like, ow. Oh. We are in beautiful California and uh, our tire is exploded. We just stopped for gas and no one noticed. We didn't feel a thing. Trailer was pulling great. I didn't actually have a spare that fit. So these are just spares so that we can take the tires off. So we got to go find tire shop and have one of those put on. For now, we're just going to impact off the lugs. Hope we can uh, knock it off and ratchet strap the axle up and keep going until we find a tire shop because nothing opens for like an hour. I thought you were f me when you said the tire was flat. Oh, I wish. <laughs> oh yeah, that's good. Good, 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 good. We have found a tire shop. So we're gonna see if we can get this fixed. Go! Good! Oh, 
Yeah, we're fine. Well, we made it to Cold Part. We're out here uh, where everyone's waiting to get loaded up. Got the check. So I need to run into the office way over there and pay for it. Then we can request a loadout and they'll bring it out on that loader and hopefully be able to set it directly on this trailer. It's been a long drive. We drove all night, 1200 miles, but we made it, we're here. So uh, I'm excited to get it out here and see what it looks like. All right, guys, I was able to pay for the car, but we got some unfortunate news. Uh, they are all booked out on loadouts. Like all these guys here are waiting for loadouts. And I wasn't aware of that, so they can't fit me in today. And they, they occasionally do do walk-ins, but they're booked out right now. And it is a run and drive lot. So I was like, can I just walk back there and get it? And I can't, so it's all good. So uh, we're kind of trying to figure out what to do. We just booked an Airbnb in Lake Tahoe, two hours away. So we're gonna shoot over there, kick it in Tahoe, come back tomorrow and uh, get this thing. So I just set up an appointment to get this around three. Kind of unfortunate, but this is my first time doing any uh, co-part buying. And apparently it didn't used to be like this. These are just all new rules due to COVID. So uh, it is what it is. Found this cool little waterfall. I think I just soaked my pant leg. All right, guys, we made it to Lake Tahoe. It was a beautiful drive. A lot of mountains though, kind of glad we weren't towing, but we got to go back tomorrow and tow, so we'll see. This is where we're staying over here. So there's our whole uh, private beach right here. The only issue is they don't allow trailer parking where we're staying, so we're trying to figure out where to park the trailer right now. So we're gonna deal with that, go get some food, and uh, then we uh, also need to grab some bathing suits and we're gonna jump in and see how cold the water is. Beautiful sunset though. We are out here in the lake. I do not know if any of this sound is gonna come through. My phone took a little bit of a splash down. Well, cause Jorge threw it and threw it like a girl. How's the water? Yeah, we'll see uh, if it feels better tomorrow and get in tomorrow, but yeah, we just wanted to get out here and do it since we're here. I'm not gonna like put my head in. Okay, this is cold. <gasps> <gasps> this is cold. Do it, Jorge. Shit. Oh, my my get your nuts in there. <laughs> Are you cold? <laughs> put your nuts in. <laughs> put your nuts in. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> why'd you keep your shirt on bro so the lake was super cold the pool is perfect and the hot tub's pretty hot so we're gonna go for a swim now oh it's eight feet down there yeah i'm gonna drown down there really you can't swim either no i can barely swim we will gonna see if i drown i'm gonna drown for sure <laughs> Love it. it is the next day, so we're good to go pick up the BMW today. Tahoe has been fun. We're getting out of here now, and it's two hours back to Sacramento. Back on the road again. This water is like freezing cold, and these rocks are so slippery. 
We just made it back to Copart and I checked in on the app. So we're just waiting on them loading some other people and they're gonna pull the BMW out and get us all loaded up. I'm gonna go ahead and get the ramps and everything out of our way. That way we're completely ready for them when they bring it out. Okay, there we go. We went forward, right? So we're good that way. Let's, uh, let's go take a look at it actually. There's a key. Key's in it. Here it is. That's uh, probably why it's salvage title right there. Dude, this thing has an exhaust. Does it? What's this thing? I don't really know what this is. I don't really care. I just want it because it's a manual 135 and it has rims. Hell yeah, looks pretty good though. So there we go guys. We finally got the car loaded. We've been waiting for like an hour, but uh, yeah, it's uh. It's what I was expecting. Manual. I was worried the key wasn't here, but they put it right here. Window is moving down and up. So I think it has power. Interior is pretty clean too. So let's see if it starts. Yep, starts right up. Fuck yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> Sounds good too. Why does it not sound turboed? Should we pop the hood and make sure it's turboed? The ramps are under. I'll put it in reverse and send it. Nah. You don't think so? Nah. <laughs> it's, I want to hear that blow off out. I don't think it's going to blow off. It should. Yeah, it is. It is. I'm stoked. This is badass. <laughs> There it is, it's all loaded up. We can tell it has an exhaust, it has an HKS blow off valve, and it has intake. So we don't know what else has been done to it, but for now we're just gonna strap it down and get headed back to New Mexico because we got a 16 hour drive ahead of us. So that's gonna be it for this video. We'll get back to New Mexico. You guys saw me get here, you don't need to see me get back. As always, thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you in the next one. We have currently made it back to Santa Fe. Quick little update. And uh, we don't exactly know where our tire went. So that's not good. And this one's leaking. Has a nail right there. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go dump this crap at the shop before it won't roll anymore. I did, bro. You did? Yeah. Should we take off one of the ABS sensors? Oh no, let's try once more.
Yeah, does that have launch control? I don't know. Let's go for a ride, hop in. <laughs> something wrong with it, probably like a coil or something. It has a lot of check engine lights, I'll tell you that much. 